This is Mario once again with MIA Microflight and in this video I am going to show uh, a um, 3D printer that I've been working uh, on for uh, the past, uh, I don't know, the past uh, few months. This is a, an iteration uh, uh, which is a little bit unique and I know this uh, video is a little bit different than my typical radio control RC models, micro lights, ultra lights, uh, auto gyros, uh, lanyards that I've been showing in uh, past uh, years and past months but this is something uh, new that I've been working on and I've been trying to concentrate on finishing this uh, particular machine which is very unique in the sense that it is a Core XY uh, 3D printer uh, and if you're familiar with the typical Core XY machines you'll notice that um, those machines have the drive motors, the X and Y motors at the corners there uh, at the back of the machines, that's your, you know, pretty much all of the Core XY machines are done that way. This is different in the sense that I had to rethink the location of the motors, the X and Y motors, and made those to the center of the actual frame. This whole frame has um, the X and Y motors attached to it, which I drive the the um, mechanism here, and. If you want to find out how this works, you know, just go online and type uh, Core XY uh, 3D printers, how they operate, and you'll find out how this uh, system works, you know, via belts. So I'm not going to go into that explanation here, but I'm just going to point the details that make this machine unique. This is the MIA Blink, by the way, and the more standard where one that I designed earlier is the MIA Wink. Wink and Blink. You know, okay, this is a more traditional uh, course why um, uh, machine but it's done with uh, some of my very own uh, linear uh, rails and guides and this one is the uh, the more non-conventional machine also done with my own uh, rail system here I'm not employing any off-the-shelf um, linear guides or rails I had to design this whole thing from scratch and I wanted it to be done that way otherwise what what's the point and so the most unique uh, feature that you'll see on this machine as compared to all of the Core XY machines that are out there or the more traditional ones is the location of the motors. This is something new and I believe this is the uh, first in the world done this way. I have searched high and low on the internet to find a similar machine that was that, that relocated the motors to the center of the actual Core XY frame and I did not find any nice search uh, very uh, quite a bit you know for quite some time. Um, before I embed, uh, got um, or embarked on designing this machine. If somebody had done that before, there's no point in me doing it again because what's the point? I mean, the whole point of uh, my, uh, my existence in my company has been to do something that nobody has done before, and so I decided to uh, complete this uh, design. I did several iterations. I have another video that shows the CAD model so, and the transition, the evolution of th this machine from uh, this idea. Behind here is a uh, typical uh, Cartesian. You know, this is uh, one of the printers you can buy uh, online very inexpensively, the Cartesian types. You know, they have the Y operation this way, the X this way, and the Z on the gantry that rises up the towers here. And so, this is uh, just to show the differences, but uh, to I wanted to concentrate and focus on this uh, MIA Blink non-conventional 3D printer. It's something new that I've been working on, and I still have to do a little more work to finish it up, which will be coming up in uh, another video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.